Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 don't... Did he see me? Oh my god. Like, we're stealthing this guy right now. Oh, maybe not. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no, this is bad! What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the aisle. Today, we're out solo running in this awesome dino survival game, and I wanted to see if we could maybe survive to adulthood as one of the smallest herbivores in the game. This is the Dryosaurus. So yes, recently I came back to this game, I played with Icy and IGP, and I am blown away with what they have added to this game. It really is one of the best dino survival games now. So, being that we are the smallest herbivore, uh, we're really gonna have to use our camo to our advantage. Uh, you can't actually see right now because it's dark o'clock out. But, I do have some green and brown camo, and as you can see, this is the actual lighting out right now. So, this is really a good time for us, though. We can actually explore without much worry of being noticed. So, let's actually sniff and see if we can get any food or anything, because we're going to need that soon. Uh, and as you can see, our water is quite low as well. Alright, so there we go. We do got some things in the distance there, as you can see. I'm looking for, hopefully, a watering hole. That's a watering hole way behind, behind us. We actually got some closer over here, though. So, yes, sniffing, obviously a very important thing as a little dinosaur. Uh, so, we're going to try and head over to this water here and uh, maybe get a drink before daytime. Because being at a watering hole during the day is probably a death wish, being that we are so small. So like I said, ultimate goal right now is to make it to adulthood as this little guy. We actually, if we open up our thing here, we can see we are currently a juvenile. Uh, it shouldn't take this lo too long for this guy to actually get into adulthood. But once we are into adulthood, being that I am female, I can actually nest and make the babies. So uh, I would love to be able to do that, maybe make my own little family. Maybe we can join a Dryo family as well if we do find one. But I'm totally fine going solo as well. We're really going to focus on stealth today. And uh, hopefully we don't get eaten by a T-Rex or something. Then again, that's probably what most of you want to see anyway, so that probably will happen by the end of it. Anyways, just sniffing again. Oh, wow, we're actually right by the water. Jesus. Now, the cool thing about this character, uh, once it's daytime, we will uh, put our nest, or sorry, our, our tunnel down, I guess you would call it. But basically, this guy can dig. And as you can see, I am making a tunnel right now. And this is kind of my defense mechanism. So when the dangerous guys come, I can actually uh, go in here. And if we right click and hold, I can actually dig down into my safe haven of my tunnel. At least it's supposed to be quite safe. I think some of the smaller raptors can indeed get in here. So we don't want to, you know, think that we're totally safe inside here. But as a last ditch effort to get away from something, this is a really cool uh, update. All right, and we're getting pretty hungry too, so let's make sure we eat before daytime. We got some nice big plants around here, so this should hopefully fill up our bellies here. Uh, the more you eat, I think the faster you grow as well, so we want to keep that belly filled. That way we're getting away from juvenile as quickly as possible. All right, let's actually see. It looks like it is becoming daytime, as you can see. Still quite dark out. Uh, we're on kind of the side of a mountain here. I'm not really liking this spot too much. There's not many places for me to hide. So I think we're going to get away from here. Maybe if I can sniff and find somewhere else to go, that would be great. Um, I don't like to travel through the day, but uh, being that we are so small, we do have to get on the move right now. Uh, so we do got a watering hole here. It doesn't look like there's any other ones around. So I think I'll head up towards this plant at least and see what we can find once we get there. All right, kind of makes sense that there's uh, no water here. We're on the top of a mountain. I went to get that plant. I think we're going to head down more this way. Let's actually sniff once again, see if we can maybe see something out here. I'm not hearing any bigger dinosaurs, so we don't really have to worry. I don't think there's really any around. So that's the watering hole I was at. Yeah, we're going to continue. Oh, don't break your legs. Uh, we're going to continue down this way into the woods and see what we can find. We should be okay for a while. I'll grab some water along the way uh, just to make sure. All right, I have found another watering hole. You might be able to see it in the distance there. We're going to go check out this one. I want to figure out a nice place to kind of camp out. Being that I am a herbivore, being that I am, you know, a living creature, I, I need water close to me. So we can't really camp out just anywhere. Uh, we definitely have to do it around a watering hole. So I want to make sure it's nice and safe. More or less un unoccupied would be nice, but I'm going to assume, I mean, dinosaurs are looking for water too. Watering holes are always going to have something around. Uh, so far, so good, though. There hasn't actually been... Oop, 
Okay, that was just music. I thought that was something calling. But there hasn't been any predators or anything that I've seen, so we're at a relatively peaceful part of the map right now. Uh, I should mention, if you are new to this game, you don't really know how it works. Basically, this is a totally open-world experience where you get to choose your type of dinosaur and you try and live your life. And basically, most of the other dinosaurs that we will see are other players trying to live their life as well. So if they're a predator, they're looking for meat. If they're a herbivore, they're looking for the bushes that they can eat. And uh, yeah, it's just a game of survival. It's an absolutely awesome game. Is that, is that like geysers? Is that a heated hot spring? Because, yeah, we got some movement in the water, as you can see. We'll have to go down there and kind of check it out. I'm just... Oh, okay, so... oh Jesus Christ. That was amazing. Okay, so that is definitely a geyser. I hear something else down there, though, so I just want to... Oh, man. The big question is, though, do the geysers shoot us upwards? Oh, God, this would be the worst way to die if this actually happens. Okay, I don't think it's working. I've, se I've seen it explode once. Yeah, you can hear it exploding. It doesn't look like it's exploding, but I think it's higher up. Anyways, let's get out of here. I hear things squawking, and I'm not really too comfortable staying here for too long. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a raptor. Okay, bye now. Oh, I see someone in the distance right by my head there. I'm just going to keep eating. It looks like he's leaving me alone. That is definitely raptor-like. So we are not going to go down there if we don't need to going to eat this up and maybe move on. I'm not feeling too comfortable here. And if we want to, we can keep on the move. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Oh, God. Let's just crouch a little bit. That is a big-looking dinosaur. I'm wondering if he can see me. And he's just trying to pretend he can't. He's kind of getting closer. Let's just stay still. What is that, a Carnotaurus? kind of looks like it. It's got something on its head. There we go. Yeah, he's... He definitely doesn't see me. We're okay. Is that someone else behind me, or is that a tree? Okay, yeah, he's running away. Let's also focus around us right now, because we're kind of in the open. I just saw him, and I kind of froze. Oh, God, there's one in the back. We actually got a guy... Oh, crap, he's coming this way. Okay, so let's, uh... Before he comes down this way, let's get into the woods here. I know there's a raptor around here as well, so we are not in a safe spot. All right, there's not many of these evergreen trees out here, so I'm going to go right between these two, and hopefully that'll be enough to remind me where I am. Yeah, there's something squawking over there. I'm just going to dig my hole real quick just to have this in case we need to jump down it. There we go. We have our burrow. Now we also need to make our nest. Now we can't make our nest, unfortunately, in our burrow, but that is not today. So we're going to build that nest, and I think we actually got to lay on this. Oh, my God. So cool. We have to lay on this to incubate our eggs. So there we go. Press E to manage. Okay. Dormant, dormant, dormant. Oh, this is so cool. So we can store food for our animals. And it looks like we just got to actually lay on it to start making those eggs. Ooh. Oh, God. Is that me? Oh, God. I'm so scared. All right. So I'm just going to lay on this, I think. And yeah, now we do our motherly duty of simply waiting here and uh, waiting for these things to pop out. Then we got to get them food as well, so I think we regurgitate our food for them, so this is so cool. I've never been a mother before. Okay, the unfortunate part of being a mother is we have to feed ourselves as well. I am malnourished right now. Uh, we're still gestating the eggs, so we're not even in incubation period yet, so I guess we have no choice but to get off and go explore a little bit so i gotta figure out hopefully there's some plants close to us there should be now i guess the nice thing about having a nest i didn't realize it put an emblem on our map but we do got an emblem as well so we're doing totally fine we'll be able to easily find it and then we're going back to sitting and doing our motherly duty oh god oh no oh don't see me don't see me i'm just a plant i'm just a plant oh god where did you... You're a silent assassin, aren't you? Oh, God. He, is, he, is he just teasing me? Okay, no. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He just came out from nowhere. My nest is, like, right there, too. Okay. Back to eating. I, I need to fill up this belly and go back to hiding. Okay. Run away from this hill as quickly as we can because that was absolutely horrifying. Let's actually keep our stamina. We don't know if there's any other guys around here. They've been silent, man. I thought we would hear them stomping around. I guess they're not big enough. They're, they are no T-Rex, that's for sure. In retrospect, it probably would have been a much smarter idea to put my nest directly under a tree, you know, to have some sort of cover. 
Oh, I thought this would be a good point of reference, though, but being that we see our nest everywhere, uh, I didn't realize that was a thing. So how are we doing right now? It looks like you can see that there's kind of like a loading period. We're at the tip of the egg, so we are ready or almost ready for incubation here. And it is turning night... Oh, yeah, I'm hearing things. Uh, it is turning nighttime, so I might go out and get some food again. Actually, how are we doing for food right now? We actually might be able to survive out the night without food. We'll see how I feel once it turns really dark out. And it's official. We are incubating at 10% already. I have some food in the nest for my babies when they do pop out. Uh, but I thank God I'm doing it right. I wasn't sure if this was the right way to do it. Now, the cool thing about this, too, is you can actually spawn in real players with your babies. So we'll try and do that. See if we can actually do it, but uh, we still have to wait for the incubation period, which is probably going to take a while. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not behind me. I, I don't like things behind me. I think you can actually see the egg beside my uh, body here. That's awesome. Okay, I wonder if animals can eat my eggs. There's a lot of yelling over there. I am absolutely horrified that they're going to come running down this hill and see me. All right, I thought I'd be a little more comfortable at night, but... Uh, yeah, I realized I can't really see a damn thing up here, so uh, I'm only going to see them when they're right on top of me. And with these glowing eyes, I do not feel safe at all out here. But a mother got to do what a mother got to do. We got to incubate this egg, man. 30%. It could not go any faster. Come on. All right. So, yeah, looks like we can actually just invite. Oh, it looks like random. Wait, is this a select player to invite? So is this all the players that are actually online? I'm assuming that's how it... Oh, God. Okay, that's just thunder. I'm assuming that's how it works. Now, I'm going to work on my vitals before we actually do that, though. We may as well go fill ourselves up so we can focus on having a kid. I don't know who wants to uh, be my kid, but I hope somebody does. Okay, so I'm just going to invite random people. We'll see if anybody wants to be my baby. This is, this is very weird that I got to do it this way. Now, you obviously should probably, you know, talk to some of your real-world friends and see if they want to do it, because these guys can actually bite me, too. So, I've invited a few of them. Hopefully, one of them will join me soon. Oh, it looks like somebody has accepted my invitation. Okay, so I actually have a baby. Like, how does this work? Oh, God, baby. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I think he's in here. I think he's just got to load. He should be a little baby. This is so cool. I love this. Now, we're incubating another one. Uh, looks like it still says dormant, so maybe he left me? Did you leave? Oh, there he is! I think he just... He's right there, isn't he? Oh, my God. He's so small. I can't even freaking see him. It's still really dark out, but yeah, you can see. Look how small he is! Oh, my God! Hello, little baby! <laughs> oh, God. This is great. I, I never knew I wanted to be a mother until now. Okay, so this guy's going to need some food. So we're going to store... I'm assuming 50 food should be more than enough. This guy's just going to kind of hang out and grow big and strong, hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten. He is so small. <laughs> he jumps. Oh, God. All right. Well, I'm hoping he doesn't get lost. I'm going to let my baby go, though. I'm not going to be, you know, a hover mom. I, I don't, I don't want to be that. So let him explore a little bit as we make another one. <laughs> the little squeak. I love it. Oh, my God. This is the greatest thing ever. We actually almost got a, a whole other egg. He's still got lots of food, so he should be okay. And right now, it's still nighttime. I thought it would be daytime by now, but uh, this is kind of nice. We can give him a chance to grow. He looks bigger already. I'm assuming he is. I don't think the baby stage lasts very long. But, my God, he's so small. I mean, I, I'm a small dinosaur to begin with, but my, my offspring is really, really small. All right, and we got another one. Oh, God, this is great. So I feel really bad because a lot of these guys don't want to be my baby. But uh, this is the only way I can invite people. So I'm just going to invite random people until hopefully one accepts. And, uh, yeah, now we have two babies. This is... I didn't expect to be a mother of two so soon, but I, I am. Oh, did we get someone? Oh, we got another kid as well. Look at you guys. Hi, babies. I can't actually see them, but uh, they are indeed there. So I need to go get some food right now. These kids should hopefully be okay. Let me actually just make sure these things have food. Uh, we're going to drop off some food here for you guys. There you go, 70. I am starving now. That was a bad idea. Let's get up, though, and go sniff out some food. If they want to follow me, they can. But uh, I need to go get some right away. 
And look at how quickly they get so big. There's our first baby. He's actually growing quite a bit. Give him a nice little call. Oh, looks like he's going into my tunnel. I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> he's just chilling in it. Oh, that's the greatest thing. I love my family so much. Cub has decided to be a lone ranger, I think. He's way up there somewhere, probably just exploring and whatnot. And how we doing? We still got 40% on our third incubation. I think after that, I, I think I'm happy with three kits. Now, that's a little bit too many mouths to feed. Actually, how many fo much food do we got? So they haven't stolen too much of the food yet, so that's good. <laughs> oh my god, I love talking to them so much. This is the greatest thing. So yes, here's my second child. As you can see, it looks like he's slightly smaller than my original one. So yeah, they, they are growing. Oh! Oh, get up, kids! Get up, kids! Oh, no! Oh, get down! Inside! Inside! Get inside, everybody! Oh, God, kids. Kids, I hope you learn how to get inside quickly. I don't... I don't know if I should go... I should... I should definitely not go up. My kids! Please don't die! Come down into my hole! Oh, this this is why we need this hole, though. My God. Damn it! All that work. Please tell me my kids are okay. God! They clearly weren't paying attention. Yep. That's definitely screaming. Oh, I don't know what to do! Problem is, if I go out, I'm definitely a goner if he's hanging around here, so... Oh, yeah, he's definitely dead. Do we hear any chomping? God, being a mother is so stressful! I, uh... I think I just lost my kids, man. Uh, is there actually... Maybe I can see in my group? They're still there, but it doesn't actually say if they're dead or not, so... I have no idea. Oh! I hear... That was my baby. Oh, please. Oh, God. I'm, I'm really curious. <gasps> oh, we're okay. What happened? Did he leave us alone? I have so many questions right now. Yes! We survived, kiddos! <laughs> All right. Well, let's go back to laying down. That was horrifying. And look at that. We got our fourth little baby. So that is official. I am a, a, a mother to four now. Good old Nexus. I think we're done for right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely don't want a fourth kid, so... Where'd my other kid go? We have Cub over there, the original. Where, where's the OG? Did he die? He didn't tell me he left. Uh, he did leave. Come on, man! I spent all that time making you my baby, and then you leave me! God, I, I wanted a crew of four, too. That sucks. Well, at least I got little old Nexus with me and Cub as well. Looks like Cub's gonna hopefully stay around. I need all the help I can get right now. So we got uh, some plants over there. I am probably going to need to eat. Well, actually, we're doing okay right now. I'm gonna go get some water, though. All right, well, I gotta say, task complete. My goal was to reach adulthood and make some kids, and we indeed did that. Now I wanna go explore maybe some crazier parts of the map. We'll wait for Nexus to grow a little bit bigger, though. Uh, I don't know if these guys wanna join me or not, but... I will let them follow me if they do want to. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't... Did he see me? Oh, my God. Like, we're stealthing this guy right now. Oh, maybe not. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! This is bad! This is real bad! Okay, I shouldn't bring these back. Damn it! Are you serious? The moment... I leave motherhood and go explore on my own. I just freaking die. I should have stayed there, popped out as many kids as possible, and lived a happy, everlasting life. But no, I decided to go wander off into the woods, and the first thing I see is a predator. And that's how weak we truly are. He bit me once, and I was dead. So I can only hope my kids will live on in my reins and hopefully have kids of their own and be extremely successful. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys, because we're dead! So yeah, that was checking out the Dryosaurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions on what dinosaurs you would like to see me play in this game, there's actually quite a few, as you can see. I know most of you guys probably want to see me big up, be a big predator, and I'm totally fine for that. I thought we'd start off with a little bit more of a challenge, though, with the herbivores. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what you see here, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, this was The Isle. If you want to know anything more about it, link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.